What's up guys? So, welcome back to another episode of Keeping Up With Javon J. For those who are new here, I appreciate you. Thanks for be being a part of my journey. I gotta say, shout out to Anthony, man. Life with Anthony. <laughs> I was watching this video and I saw, and this, well, what happened was, um, one of his subscribers, right? One of the FOAs, right? They came over there and they was like, um, I, I, first I couldn't understand what he wrote, right? I wasn't really, I think I was busy editing or something like that I was doing. So I kind of was reading it real quick. So I really didn't understand. So I, I asked him, I said, him or her, I'm not sure. I don't think they had a picture or anything like that or like a, a actual name on there. But I was like, what did you say? And then when I went back, to take my time and see what they said because a second FOA came and said it but I was like why they keep coming over here and saying uh something about FOA right I wasn't understanding what was going on <laughs> bro so I went on Anthony's page I was like he had to have share my page bro because this don't make no sense so I went on his page man and I'm like uh I start the video and everything and before the video actually before i think after his intro right that reminds me i gotta work on an intro but it'll come sooner or later but after the intro it popped up all the black uh van lifers right i don't i never really heard of the other oh i heard of i think ethnic uh, i forgot the rest of it i think but i heard oh ethnic explorer i heard of him I mean, I saw, I, I heard of him. So when I saw his name up there, that's the only one I recognized. But then I saw my name though. And I was like, damn, how did he even find my page, right? So, man, that's crazy, man. But shout out to Anthony for sure. <laughs> one day we got to meet up and uh, cook a meal or something. Because I'm in, I'm in Florida too. And I know you on one of the campgrounds in Florida, somewhere around. I don't really know which one it is, but I'm in Florida too. So we going to link when the time's right, you know? But, um, yeah, man, I was like, what? That was crazy, bro. That was crazy, G. No kizzy. But, yeah, shout out to the new subscribers, man. Love and respect. My name's Javon J. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So, right now, I'm about to make some dinner, right? I haven't ate ramen in a long time, in years, right? So, I, I, I got some chicken, some rotisserie chicken, but I'm going to saute the chicken, though. I'm gonna cut it up, saute it with some, you know, and, uh, some seasoning. Like I got some cilantro, fresh cilantro, tomatoes, onions, green tomatoes. I got uh, red pepper, and um, I don't know what else I got in there, but I got some other stuff, I think. And um, I'm gonna make the ramen, right? And I'm gonna throw the chicken over the ramen with some you know green green uh, onions and all that you know what i'm saying for my dinner tonight and tomorrow after i'm done running uh an errand right i'm gonna go work finally work on my um health and fitness bundle right so it's gonna include for those who want to get into the health and fitness who's uh you know who wants to uh get back in shape or lose weight or learn how to heal yourself naturally right with the natural herbs fruits etc well i'm not gonna put everything on there but this is just for a little uh summary of what's gonna be on there um it's gonna have workouts workouts to to for, the, for those to do and at home at, at the gym in the park wherever uh it's gonna have protocols for those who you know for the you know I don't want to say the word to trigger no algorithms, but it's going to have protocols. It's going to have um, foods to feed your baby. So if you're pregnant, it's going to have foods to feed your baby. Um, for, you know, new mothers, you know, who don't really know or who's, you know what I'm saying? It's going to have foods, the right healthy foods to feed your baby. It's great to start start off oh, while they're still in the womb and whatnot. So by the time they come out and whatnot and you continue feeding them certain foods they're gonna grow up to eat the same you know what i'm saying so, so they're gonna have a nice balanced diet at least even if they do eat uh junk food in the future they're still gonna have 
a, a nice balanced diet because they're gonna be used to vegetables and stuff already so that's good you know but um it's better than having them start off with junk from the jump you know what i'm saying that leads to obesity and all kinds of stuff in the future you know so and uh diseases and whatnot right so it's gonna have that what else it's gonna have a a chart to know the right times to eat you know what i'm saying it's gonna have smoothies healthy smoothies it's gonna have a, a detox i think i'm gonna throw the detox in there for y'all yeah i think i'm gonna throw the detox in there so it's gonna be a full bundle all right and i'm gonna put it on my patreon i gotta make the patreon so tomorrow i'm gonna be busy doing that researching it figuring it out and all that right i already started typing up the bundle i just gotta finish it so that's about it right now i'm gonna go cook i just got done uh, uploading some videos my a vlog and um some stuff from my other channel but yeah so that's about it man let's get it cracking we about to start cooking Yerm. right now i'm stealth camping at walmart tonight i'm gonna chill at walmart tonight i gotta at some point i gotta hit the gym and uh get a shower all right well i'm gonna get a full workout too in a shower because i missed sunday as you guys know i was uh doing that side job with my dad so uh i gotta go on wednesday for sure gotta hit it up wednesday for sure yeah man and i gotta go to the dollar store man i gotta get some uh, a cutting board and stuff i swore i had one in the storage but i don't know where it's at and i went to walmart and i well i just was in the store and i looked at the cutting boards they got in there and i'm like bro you should see how much it costs for a cutting board but a little cutting board like it don't make sense but the same price at the dollar store is a bigger cutting board so it's like nah man nah it's good to shop smart man don't matter if you got the money or, or whatever but it's good to shop smart you know what i'm saying but um yeah man i'm gonna see y'all in the back of the van in the back of the vizan <laughs> i don't know if i should get a name for her i don't know i don't know but let me let me know if y'all uh you know what <laughs> i'm not gonna pick i'm not gonna think about a name if you guys got uh good ideas or suggestions drop the names in the comment section and i'll just pick which which one i like you know what i'm saying but yeah i don't know but if i see a good name i'm definitely going with that name for sure because i would like to name her you know what i'm saying she's been good you know no matter what she's been holding it down you know what i mean as long as i maintain her and everything she's been holding it down like you guys know if you've been watching take it a day at a time no stress let's trust god <clears throat> right now i'm about to cut the chicken up and uh prepare the chicken i'm gonna cut it up in the pan because i ain't got the cutting board right now so we gonna improvise and make it do you heard me i wish i got my um the chicken i wanted i like the lemon pepper chicken but uh I didn't have any. I'm just grateful it had chicken left because it only had like probably like like maybe five or six. I'm not sure, but I grabbed one ASAP. As soon as I got there, I grabbed one. <laughs> but what I really gotta do is, man, I gotta make some time to go to the storage and get my bed and everything back in here. Cause the last thing I really gotta do when it comes to actually work work for the van is just finish the sink and stuff and that's coming i have everything else for it the tools the sore everything so i need to grab my bed grab all my dishes and stuff and the last minute stuff is going to be putting up the led lights and you know stuff like that easy stuff just decorating making it look real you know i need more light in here right now i only got the headlight i got from monica and i got that light that i got back a couple probably months ago so I need to go get some brighter lights. I got to do some research to find out, you know, what's a good bright light. And I'm put a couple up in here too. So, you know, you could see much clearer. But we're going to make it do what it do right now. So the legs I normally cut up. 
what I'll cut and put to the side, cut off and put to the side for now. And then, um, and I also do the same thing with the wing. And I eat that like separate. I mostly use the the breast and stuff for the the main course. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes I don't even eat the wing and the um and the and the the legs. The chicken is done. I cut most majority of the meat off of it. Now it's time to actually cut it up into smaller pieces and get it ready for the noodles. Noodly doodly. I ate the drumsticks. Ooh, it was good, but it ain't really, it'll never be better than the lemon pepper though, ever. Ever, 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 ever. I'm gonna make the noodles last because it's it cooks faster. And I'm gonna make the chicken first. So, here we go. Just gotta wipe it out a little bit. I'm gonna cut it up as small as possible because I'm gonna be eating in the in my little um, pot right here. Shit. Hold on. I ain't gonna lie. One thing about me, this little pot right here. One thing about me is I hate when my stuff isn't organized. So. I can't wait to actually organize everything in here, man. Like, I really can't. So, yeah, I'm gonna cut it up real small for the, the ramen. And try to, because I know it's a little pot. And hopefully, majority of it fits. And I ain't really gotta go too hard with the sauteing, sauteing of the chicken because it's already cooked. You know what I'm saying? As you guys know, it's rotisserie chicken. I love rotisserie, I ain't gonna lie. If you guys got any, um, any actual recipes you would like me to try, you know what I'm saying? Because you feel like I'll like it or you feel like it's good, uh, drop it in the comments below or you could go to the community section. I made a post and you could just drop it there. And I'm gonna um, try it in upcoming videos. And um, I'll let you know how it tastes. Because I think that'll be real cool. I feel like the best foods, or anything in general, is obviously better coming from experience, right? Like somebody putting you on or something. I think like th that's always gonna be, obviously, lit as hell you know what i'm saying so that's why i say that you know what i mean i saw anthony made some uh chicken i think it was today's vlog and I, i'm gonna try it it looks real good too i ain't gonna lie it did look real good i was like damn and those campbell soups or whatever it is the broth whatever he used with the herbs in it um i don't think i ever tasted those but i I probably did a long time ago and uh, I think it was really good so I'm gonna try it boom chicken done cut up boom let's go all right so now I'm gonna go get the seasonings ready <clears throat> we got the green onions boom um, purple well they call it red onions but it's actually purple to me so I got the fresh cilantro, boom. What else, what else, what else, what else? Red pepper, fresh red pepper. And I got some cherry tomatoes up in here, which is one of my favorites. And the most healthiest when it comes to tomatoes. Let's get it. So always keep in mind guys, Always make what you have do. Try your best not to get stressed out. Cause it's not worth the stress at the end of the day. As you can see, I'm making what I have do. It, it would have been better obviously to cut it up on a um, cutting board and quicker, but hey. And yes, 
I rinsed all of these out. So, no need to panic. I ain't gonna lie, I love fresh cilantro. Growing up in the Caribbean, I'm so used to literally going outside and picking all the, the uh, seasonings of the trees and everything, the peppers, everything. And it was always so fresh. The smell can't compare to the seasoning that they, you know, preserve or whatever. Can't compare, bro. So we got the cilantro. This thing smells so good, bro. It don't really matter how it's cut up, as long as it's cut up. I just want everything to fit in the pan and stuff, and you know what I'm saying? Because this is just a quick and easy meal. I didn't really know what I was gonna make. I figured this out last minute too, so. Yeah, but upcoming vlogs, I got a few things. I'm gonna, I know what I'm gonna make ahead of time. I've been doing research on uh, people who make uh, actual chefs and whatnot. Like uh, one of my favorite is uh, Gordon Ramsay. I got a couple meals from him I'm gonna cook in the future. And they look mad good. They look like they taste mad good. As you come in and you start watching the video, smash that like button for your boy. Thanks for your support subscribe and always make sure to turn on the actual notification bell all right so you're really subscribed got all the seasoning ready all the fresh sweet seasoning the rest of the seasonings are in here rosemary i got some red peppers but i already put the fresh red pepper in there so i won't put that in there and i have some thyme so i'm gonna put these two in there as well and some pink himalayan salt time to get it cracking let the oil heat up a little bit we don't need a whole lot because like i said the chicken's cooked already you just want to saute it a little bit the seasoning. I ain't gonna lie, I could do a couple reps with this damn pan. This shit heavy. <laughs> that thing's solid, boy. We gonna raise the fire up a little bit so it can heat up quickly. And then we gonna turn it down after. Woo! Got some time going up in there. Now we got some rosemary. We got that rosemary. I ain't gonna lie, it smells good, yo. Fresh seasoning. Woo! Man, I wish y'all was here to smell it. it. Smells super good. It's a, it's been a good investment to get stove and all these things, man. Like no cap, saves me from buying out and all of that. Amazing. That thing looking good, boy. Hey. We got the ramen up in here. <coughs> Let's get it cracking. I hope this don't overflow or nothing like that. 
Cause we ain't got time for it, bruh. Bruh, bruh, bruh. So it's all done. Now I like my, my food mixed. So I'm just mixing it up. It smells so good, I ain't gonna lie. That thing smells so good. I mean, it's a lot of food though, I ain't gonna care. But I'm gonna destroy it. I'm gonna be ready for the gym tomorrow. Enough protein up in here, boy. This wouldn't have fit in the smaller pot. I want it in the smaller pot, but it ain't gonna work. Look at that, boy. Woo! I'll give y'all a close up. Mm mm mm. Mm mm mm. Here's a final look at it. Just added some avocados to it. You know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna do a little taste test. This shit is, I mean, this is really good, bro. Damn. Let me give y'all a close up on this, this taste. Look at this right here, man. Yeah, I don't want it to fall. Mmm. Wow, look at that. Damn, this thing tastes good, bro. I'm definitely about to tear all this up. It's a whole lot, but I'm gonna tear it up because I'm gonna. I want to be ready for the gym. I, I missed the gym, so yeah. Mmm. Hmm. Mm mm mm. Well, with that, guys, I'm gonna see you guys tomorrow when I wake up. Good morning, guys. The next day, I feel amazing. Grateful to wake up today. Thank God for that. Thank God for you guys for waking up today. All praises to the king. Gotta brush my teeth and you know get myself together. I gotta fix my van. A couple things I gotta fix. I gotta change my spark plugs. So I'm gonna start working on that. But first, I got to go get the parts. I got to drain the oil. So I got to do an oil change, basically. I'm at my grandfather's house, so I'm going to have him take me around to get what I need when it comes to the parts. If not, I'll just probably... I'd rather walk, though. I ain't going to lie. Because it's feeling real good out today. Plus, these things are not too far from the, where I'm at. So, you know, because I'm most majority of the time driving, so... It feels good to either get a bike and ride or walk. It really feels good. Like I haven't done those things in a while. When I'm done with all of that, I gotta figure out what I'm cooking for dinner tonight. So I gotta stop by the grocery store and see what I'm cooking. We outside, feeling good. It feels real good out here. I'm headed to the stores out there. I'ma go to the dollar store, finally. Check it out. I gotta get a, I gotta get a cutting board for sure. So I'm gonna knock a bunch of things out while I'm out here. I gotta get like one of the pans to um, drain the oil. And I gotta get a spark plug socket. All right, and then I gotta go price the spark plugs and see where I could get them for, you know, a decent price. And where, cause I'm thinking about Amazon. Amazon looks like it's real cheap, but I gotta find the right one. And I already know in the store itself is gonna be a lot more. So I don't know, but I'm gonna see y'all when I get to the store though. I think this is the oil pan to drain the oil. It's 125 in here, bro. If I went to AutoZone, oh my god, I bet you money. I bet you it's way more than that. Way more than that. So I got 
um, a pizza cutter, one of these wooden spoons, some gloves to do the oil, juice, one of my favorite juices. I know they sell them at the dollar store, and I know they sell them in this size either. I normally get them in a the bigger size. I get, I didn't get the cutting board. They didn't have any, which sucks so bad, man. Out of everything else I went for, I needed that cutting board, but it's all good. I guess I'ma try again at another dollar store. But I did get some good stuff though. I got a good bit of stuff up in there. We have Publix right now, me and my gramps. He getting some juice. But um, I don't know if I'm cooking anything tonight. I don't really feel like it, but I don't know. Yeah. Probably not. What's that, iced tea? Yeah, that's pretty good. Iced tea. <coughs> I don't think. I'm looking for those rolls that push you. The blue rolls. Oh, well, and then them? put some of them out here, yeah. man. They're right over there. Yeah, yeah they're sitting on the end. Yeah. How much are you on Right there. Second last hour, right on your left. Oh, shit, I didn't see it. My bad. <laughs> <laughs> My bad. <laughs> yeah, bro. <laughs> Ask him about eating. Bro, um, I need, I got a 2000 Toyota CN. See ya. All right. And I need some spark plugs. Guys yeah. So I got the well, spark plugs so far. It's working out. Everything's working out good so far. I'm getting a filter for it. I'm changing the filter too as well. And uh, I'm working on the spark plug socket. All right. So, so far so good. You know what I mean? I got to get the oil too. So I'm gonna get some oil to, to put back in the engine when I take it out. You know what I'm saying? I'm back at the van right now. Right now I'm looking for the um the oil um screw to release it. Just that my van is a little kind of low, so I'm gonna need to jack it up. I gotta get the jack. But my, the jack that I have isn't strong enough for this van to really jack it up so I gotta figure it out I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna make it work regardless hopefully the, the van don't fall on me I gotta invest in a bigger a bigger jack so basically all I gotta do really take these out put the new plugs in there take this off I'm gonna end the video here guys I gotta I don't know if I'm gonna eat something I was gonna go pick something up to cook, but I don't know if I'm gonna. I don't know if I'm gonna do that. I might just eat some fruits and just chill out, cause I don't really know what I want to cook, to be honest. So I gotta figure it out. I gotta see. But right now I'm just trying to focus on this van, trying to get it up and running so I could get back to, um, you know, my regular schedule. But yeah, I love and I appreciate y'all. Uh, I'm going to see you guys on the next one. Please smash the like button, subscribe, turn on the post notification bell. And um, yeah, if you want to support me, you can check out my wish list, which is in the description below. It's also in the links on my homepage, I think. And uh, my cash app on P PayPal is down below if you want to support. Love and respect. Peace.